going to read a kid's book about empathy by Darren K. Roberts. You might be wondering if this book is important. Guess what? It's the most important book ever. No, seriously, ever. You might be asking yourself, if a kid's book about empathy is so important, what is empathy? Let me take you back to the third grade. In Mrs. White's class, there were 23 students. A lot of the kids in class looked like me, kinky hair and dark brown skin. But in the fourth grade, only one other kid looked like me. Can you guess how I felt? If you said, out of place, unsure, and scared, you'd be right. Does my story remind you of an experience you've had? Has anything like that ever happened to you? How did you feel? That's what empathy is. Empathy is when you stand in someone else's shoes. Not their real, real shoes, that would be gross. It's when you feel with someone who is experiencing something that's hard, sad, or scary. Empathy means you listen, don't judge, feel with, and ask questions. You might think that sounds a lot like sympathy, but the two couldn't be more different. Sympathy is when you feel for someone. Sympathy sounds like, I feel sorry for you. That stinks. I can't believe that happened. Empathy is when you feel with someone. Empathy sounds like, how did that make you feel? What can I do to help? Do you want to talk about it? And empathy can even sound like silence. Just being there with someone can be the most powerful thing in the world. Can you see the difference between sympathy and empathy? Sympathy is easy and takes a shortcut. It might seem like it helps, but most of the time it doesn't. Empathy is hard and takes more time, but it also creates comfort and connection. Sympathy is usually about you, and empathy is always about someone else. So how do you do this empathy thing? Well, let's say your best friend's dog dies, and they tell you at lunch the next day. What should you do? First, take a deep breath. Don't be in a rush to tell them how you feel. Take the time to think about how they feel. Second, listen. You don't have to do all the talking. It's okay to let them share. I know it's hard, but you can do it. Focus on your friend first. Third, ask questions. Find out what they're thinking and feeling. Don't judge them or assume anything. Make sure you use more question marks than periods in what you say. Fourth, imagine. Maybe the exact same thing happened to you, or maybe you've never even had a dog. Try to imagine and put yourself in their shoes to feel how they feel. That is empathy. Take a breath, listen, ask questions, imagine. When you do those things, you feel with someone instead of for them, which is exactly what you want when something is hard, sad, or scary. And make sure, no matter what, you don't try to fix them. It isn't about you and how you can make things better. It's just about feeling with them. Because empathy is the most courageous and creative thing you can do.